Okay, a little video on the sly is about lifting and some of the things that, uh, well, one of the things that a lot of people ain't doing right from the get go. Okay, bench press. This relates to dumbbells, Smith machines, barbells, basically any way that you can press. Big problems we see when we're lifting straight away, people round their shoulders. When we get this overextension, a lot of people press like this, their elbows come up like this, they hunch up and press like this. All of these are bad for your shoulder health, your neck health and your upper back health. If we're here, we're loading into our traps, we're putting so much pressure through our delt and onto our bicep tendon. In order to prevent that, what we want to do is we want to stabilise, we want to brace. So imagine that we're holding a pen, a piece of paper, something between our shoulder blades and all we're going to do is gently tuck and brace them there. With this nice brace, what we're finding is that the pec is opening up. So here straight away, we've got an improved range of motion without pressure on the delts. Next up, what we do, we don't do the grip that I do. Let's grip it safely. We bring our elbows in forward slightly. Elbows out here, loading into shoulder, taking pressure off the chest, gonna reduce the strength and the power of the motion and risk injury. So our elbows tuck in here. You're gonna feel your lats brace a little bit. So as we press this way now, and we come down kind of to mid chest area, we feel more braced because our back is squeezing, our core is gently tucked, our elbows are forward, and we're there isolating. The only other thing to worry about your feet is you can either do what you see people do in the gym when they're struggling, and you can drive using your toes, You'll see this with kind of Olympic lifters, powerlifters occasionally, everything is the generating force. However, if you're just a regular gym goer, you want to kind of feel the nice plan, it's usually easier to brace yourself, add a bit of glute activation and squeeze if your feet are flat and you drive through the heel. This way now, we've got force coming through the floor, through the hip, our back is braced, everything's tight, our shoulders are sat where we want and we can get the explosive power without jeopardizing our shoulder health.